Welcome back aspirants. The topic that we are going to cover today is the constitutional reforms. For better understanding, I have divided the topic into different subparts. We will understanding it in sequence like the need for constitutional reforms, current issues, proposed changes to the constitution, benefits for constitutional reforms, challenges to the constitution and lastly the role of citizens in constitutional reforms. Now our constitu constitution is the foundation of our democracy but it is not perfect. In fact there are many flaws in our current system that needs to be addressed to through constitutional reforms. These changes are necessary to ensure that our government truly represents the people and serves their needs. One major issue in the constitution is its lack of clarity on certain key issues. This has led to confusion and disagreements between lawmakers which can hinder progress and prevent important policies from being implemented. Additionally, some aspects of our constitution are outdated and no longer serve the needs in modern society. By reforming these areas, we can create a more just and equitable system that works for everyone. Now current issues with the constitution. One of the major issues with the current constitution is lack of clarity. The language used in the document can be ambiguous and open to interpretation, which has led to numerous legal disputes over the years. For example, the second amendment reference is the right to bear arms has been subject of much debate and controversy. There have been some arguing that it applies only to militias and other argues that it grants an individual right to own firearms. Another issue in the constitution is its failure to address certain important issues. For instance, the document does not explicitly guarantee the right to pri privacy leaving it to the courts to interpret whenever it right exists. Additionally, the constitution does not provide any mechanism to remove a president who is unfit for office due to mental or physical incapacity, which has become a concern in recent years. Now the proposed changes for the constitution. One of the significant proposed changes for the constitution is the establishment of term limits for elected officials. This was prevent politicians from becoming too entrenched in power and ensure that fresh perspectives are brought to government. Another proposed change is the inclusion of a Bill of Rights that explicitly outlines the rights and protection afforded to all citizens. This would provide greater clarity and protection for individual liberties and help prevent abuses of power by government officials. Now benefits of constitutional reforms offer a multitude of benefits. One of these significant benefits is increased representation and inclusivity. By amending the constitution for better to reflect the changes and values, demographics of our country can ensure that everyone's voice is heard and no one is left behind. Another benefit for constitutional reforms is improved governance and accountability. By clarifying and strengthening the roles and responsibilities of our government officials, we can hence reduce corruption and ensure that our leaders are held accountable for their actions. This in turn leads greater trust and confidence in government inst institutions. Now different challenges to constitutional reforms are, first is resistance, resistance from those who benefit from the current system. Powerful individuals or groups may use their influence to block or slow down the progress or process of change. This can be frustrating for reformers who are working towards a more just and equitable society. Another challenge is the complexity of legal system itself. Constitutional reforms often involve intricate legal procedures and complex language that can be difficult for average citizen to understand. This can make it very hard to build support for reforms and can lead to confusion or misunderstanding. Despite these challenges, there are solutions. One of these ways is to overcome resistance by building strong coalitions with like-minded individuals and organizations. By working together, reformers can build a broader base of support and increase their chances of success. Additionally, efforts can be made by simply Find legal language and making the progress and process more transparent and accessible to the public. 
Now, role of citizens in constitutional reforms. Citizens play a very crucial role in the push for constitutional reforms. Without their involvement, it is unlikely that any meaningful changes will be made. There are several ways in which citizens can get involved and make a difference. One way is to join advocacy groups that are, that are pushing for reforms. These groups often have a lot of influence can help, help by bringing attention to the issue. Citizens can also write letters to their elected representative, attend public hearings and participate in peaceful protests. By making these voices heard, citizens can help create a groundswell for support for constitutional reforms. In conclusion, it is clear that constitutional reforms are necessary to address the current issues with our constitution. The proposed changes that bring such significant benefits and positive change to our society. However, we must also acknowledge the challenges that lie ahead in implementing these changes. It will require the effort and involvement of citizens like you to make a difference and push these reforms from becoming a reality. Thank you. Lastly, thank you for watching and if you learned something new, like the videos and make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you never miss relevant updates. Also, check out our other videos and feel free to comment down any suggestions on how we can improve our content.